What's up guys? We're down by the seaport in New York, which is like all the way at the bottom of Manhattan uh, to go to the number one burger restaurant in New York, the Fulton John George, which is ironically not a burger restaurant. It's actually a seafood restaurant. They just happen to have the best burger that I've tried. God knows how much money this guy has, well, because this building says the tin building by John George. I mean, he's probably like a big partner in it. He's got like a whole almost like grocery store restaurants in there too. And then the building next to that behind it is the one that has the restaurant the Fulton. Yeah, so in there is really nice. A little expensive, but they got some decent stuff. And then this building behind it is a bunch of other restaurants and stuff, I guess. There's so much stuff down here. And we have the ocean right here, some boats. day in the middle of May here so hopefully they don't have a dress code because I'm wearing like workout clothes I was in the park tanning all day uh, wasn't actually sure how long I was gonna stay down here so I wasn't sure if I was gonna get dinner after but I think it'll be fine Momofuku which is really famous they got this over here I wonder what food they have so last time we were down here was to wrap up the burger reviews and in here, Pearl Alley, they got a bunch of different restaurants. The first few were never really that busy. See, it's kind of dead in here. So this is like, I don't know, hors d'oeuvres, bar snacks here. I mean, it's kind of early. It's like 5 p.m. on a Sunday, but maybe in the summer it's way busier. A little bar here. This is a little busier. And I don't know what restaurant this is. Because the Fulton is back here in this place. Excuse me, I'm sorry, where's the host stand? Straight out there. Right here. We actually walked through to the outside. We got the entrance out here on the seaport too. Really beautiful. A ton of people out here. I kind of wanted to sit at a table, but I guess the bar is fine. Um, I asked him about my plaque, but he didn't say he knew anything about it. This is nice. And here are the bar, and then it's all outside. So I'm kind of lazy. I didn't bring my mic down here. It's a lot of work to like film stuff and record and use the microphone. But hopefully it's not, it doesn't get too loud again. So I'm probably just going to have a lager to drink like I usually do. Yeah. They got a lager, so that's what we're going to have. I never do cocktails, and I don't really feel like white wine. This is expensive for a wine menu, though. So it is a seafood menu. Some caviar selections here. I don't think I'm going to go for that. I don't really do shellfish, which eliminates like all the oysters, mussels, crab, all that stuff here. Sashimi, I don't do salmon and fattier fish and tuna, so that's probably out too. And I guess shrimp cocktail isn't a bad idea. I might do shrimp cocktail and not eat the cocktail sauce. This fluke would probably be okay, I just don't like fluke. Sea scallop would be okay, but I don't really like uh, the cucumber and stuff. Snapper, rhubarb is pretty inflammatory. And then we got more crab, so. The safest bet here is the shrimp cocktail. It's, I mean, it's still technically shellfish, but it's not as bad as like the mollusks. So they have white asparagus, which I don't really like. I don't you normally do salads. These are all salads. Got a steak over there. I don't do pasta because of the lutein in the spaghetti. It's pretty inflammatory. Well, they got fish and chips. I'm gonna have to get that. Fish and crisps. Flounder. Purple cabbage. I like the idea of that. Flounder's kind of lean. Purple cabbage not good, but if they got potato chips with it, I could just eat those. So that's the best thing looking so far to start. 
Yeah, we don't want any of the pastas. So shrimp again, ideally we stay away from shrimp. Sea bass is pretty good, but rhubarb and carrot juice are very inflammatory, high in flavonoids, very bad. Dover sole is good. It's always super expensive though, you know. If you want to spend 80 bucks on Dover sole, you can go for that, but this would be a good choice too. Swordfish is usually like heavy metals. Salmon no good. So fish and chips to start. With a burger sounds pretty good right now. White quinoa is a good choice, actually. Very good side dish to have. So I think what we're gonna do is have the fish and chips, get the cheeseburger plain, no cheese, no mayo on it. And then maybe we'll substitute or have some french fries or white quinoa, depending on what the cheeseburger comes with, if it comes with anything. Yeah, hopefully the sound's okay in here. Maybe when these people next to me are gone, it's fine. Yeah, I bet they got the plaque and these snobby French chefs were like, who is this guy? Is this guy, is this, he's a zoo, nobody. And they threw the plaque out and they cooked the fish on it. So we have our lager, fish and chips, and the burger. The downside of this meal is all the stuff is probably fried in like vegetable oil or something. So it's not the best choice, but from an inflammatory perspective, like liver health, I'd rather have a little bit of uh, the fried food than, you know, I guess since I'm having crisps with the fried fish and then fries with the burger, I should probably substitute one of them for like the white quinoa. And honestly, the way to make this meal better would be to have like no fried stuff, like mashed potatoes instead of the fries and the white quinoa instead. But it's not that bad, you know. The reason I like getting the fried stuff when I go to restaurants is because it's so much work to fry chips or make it yourself that I like never do it and I enjoy them a lot. Bro, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm going to have to ask the manager if they got my slack. I wonder what they did with it or if they even got it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, sometimes, like, the place will have, like, a soda and glass bottle, which I like. The can, I'm not as much of a fan of. If you guys are unfamiliar with John Doerr, it's basically, like, one of the most famous and successful French restaurant owners in the city. Probably the most. So you guys know we don't drink the tap water. If I'm really thirsty and I want water, I will get whatever they have by the bottle. Yeah, so normally, if you're gonna eat seafood, you want lean white fish or caviar. Both of those are generally like pretty safe bets. Pretty safe bets. Oh, so the fried fish we're getting is, is white fish. And we're doing a burger because I don't feel like having two courses of fish. We could have done like the, the shrimp cocktail and then the fried fish, which wouldn't have been that bad either. Dover sole is good too, as I said. Yeah, so for me, if this was about having like the least inflammatory, healthiest meal possible, I would have gone for like lean white fish, nothing fried, that type of stuff. But you know, when I do go out to a restaurant, I'm trying to like enjoy myself a little bit, so that that's where I'll kind of excuse the fried foods. No more than like once a week. Yeah, so some of you guys remember like I used to bark and I work in restaurants and to work in this type of restaurant for John George, it, it like looks great on your resume. I don't think I ever worked in one, but um, it looks good. You're basically set, you know? But I mean, when most people that are in the hospitality industry get a job here, they like, they're not gonna go anywhere else because the amount of money they make and that type of stuff, it's, it's good. But most of the time you have to like start from the bottom at the lowest position and it's a lot, it's not necessarily fun. So we got the fish and crisps. Definitely not having a cabbage for several reasons. Potatoes and fried fish should be okay. This looks a little dark. I think it should blow my I don't think I'm gonna have much of the aioli. I usually try to stay away from like mayo, like the eggs and dairy and stuff. Sometimes we put it. I wish I brought my microphone. Yeah. Bro, you know what's funny? I've been wanting fish and chips for like months. For some reason, I've never had them in my life. Looks good. Me too. Why can't I keep it up? Why not? Why is it just because it's done doesn't mean I can't keep it up? It's very light, very thin crust. 
like paper thing across. It just dies down real quick, real quick. That is bad. Yeah. It's, and it's surviving. It's I don't know about these potatoes, though. That's a pretty it's like a baked potato, kind of plain. No, me feel bad. Stop. Stop. Let me do it. Hey brother, can we do the same exact thing? I just did. I mean, they could have just like pan seared these in butter, and they would have been better. Yeah. 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 Fighting for a dollar. I kind of want to try the aioli, but not have that much. Just a little bit. Yeah, the potatoes really need it. Oh, so it's pretty good. Next time I probably get French fries instead of the uh, instead of the uh, potatoes, but this is way too much fat. Way too much fat in this meal. Should have got like some raw fish with something else. I'm gonna say a bread if I get some bread to soak this. Right, I think they're gonna bring me some bread to soak up this grease. <laughs> Bro, you know what pissed me off? I was with this girl the other week and she said I look 29. I mean, that is my age, but like, come on. Come on, like, don't I look 20? And this guy just DM'd me. Oh my gosh, are you a skin routine? Aren't you like 40 now? Yeah, you guys are real fucking funny. You guys are real funny. Some, some type of bread and butter. You can't can't go wrong with a little bit of saturated fat and some starch. This is basically my regular diet. I learned how to cook up in Chinese way, wrap it up and stir it up nicely in the store. It's, it works so well. I learned how to pack my clothes, I learned how to cook, I learned how to fix a car, I learned how to fix everything. So the butter is room temperature and whipped, which is really nice. Do anything on the computer? Hacking, yeah. Yeah, I do that on YouTube. YouTube. We're basically trying to avoid like balloons and toxins and stuff. So, although vegetable seed oils aren't that great, we're, you know, we're assuming that's what these foods are fried in. You know, if, you, if you're gonna go out and enjoy something, it's okay to have one negative, you know? Like, okay, maybe you have some shellfish, but you avoid the fried food, and vice versa. But if you start combining all of them, that's where you know, that's where you might have some issues. Like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe you want to have a really clean meal of like lean fish, just plain starch, no fried foods, but then, you, you know, you have a few cocktails, so you know, there's going to be one component of the meal you enjoy, and then the rest of it you want to keep as clean as possible, so for me, I'm doing the fried food. Yo, so I went tanning earlier. During the week, there's not that many girls, but today is Sunday, so there were so many people at the park. Next time, when I'm looking for my spot to lay down, I'm just gonna go next to the girl that has the biggest tits. I'm literally gonna walk through the entire park, the entire like field, see whichever girl has, you know, the, the, the tatomis, you know, full on like milkers, calcium cans. And I'm gonna lay out next to her, you know? 
That's the game plan, bro. That's the game plan. Next week. Hopefully, it's nice out. I was just explaining to the bartender how I did the best burger reviews and everything. So maybe they have my plan. We're gonna find out. They have. That being said, we got the burger. No cheese, no aioli for my dietary restrictions. So it's just the patty with onions, which I love. We got some truffle fries and they do like an onion jus, which I'm assuming is red wine, beef, and onions. And we don't do ketchup, so we'll just leave that. Yeah, if you guys didn't see my burger review channel, The Fulton, we tried every burger in New York City. This was the best one by far. It was not even close. It was not even close. <laughs> fries are good. Very light. You know, like the fries aren't aren't greasy at all. Okay, okay. Just a little more salt. <laughs> See, even though we don't have cheese or mayonnaise on this, you know the onions, the burger, the bread still have a lot of fat on it. You know. I'm not gonna encourage you to do it, but if you wanna do it, just. I had to. This is so good. <laughs> Look at your face. You have blushed for that one. That was funny. Why? It's possible. So, I love you here. I hope you like Harry Potter so much. See, there's, there's a reason they won the best burger in New York. The bread is fresh, the crispy onions are amazing, and the meat is perfectly cooked. You are. I didn't even try it with the, this onion juice. I didn't know what some of my other friends were into it as much as they could be. Wow, you guys are really into hair part that much? Alright, now they have mugs. What are you into? Oh, that's fucking yeah, like ridiculous. You, what do you, I, I feel like that's ridiculous. That's my thing. Everybody knows everything. I'm I don't know if they have some um, female or like male Asian or Latino chefs in there. I'm down. I'm down to get married. Really? This is crazy. This burger is ridiculous. Fucking seafood restaurant. Really? Why? I never even heard about it. Okay. Crazy. Watch my baby daddy. It's comedy. It's drama. It's funny. 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 I watch. I love comedy Crazy stuff good. because I can tell you these jokes. You're like, oh, where did you get that from? Don't worry about it. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that. I was a kid. Waffle went by. And, and can't get his shit together. But the way they they tell their joke. Oh. You know the guy from Sister Sister? The little kid? The little kid? Little kid. You don't know him. Shit. Yeah, I'll have one more, please. The lager. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's kind of crazy how good this burger is. I remember the fries being better last time, but fries are hit or miss. Type in that. So they take the onions. Alright, since you're a girl, you have. Okay, there, there it is. The onions are no, that's the moon. battered and fried. Really good. And then. It's more caramelized onions in the shoe. Very good. Dude, even, even without the cheese. Without the aioli, the burger's phenomenal. Some shit. Okay. Phenomenal. None of the other restaurants did something like this. Um, the onion juke. It's like it's like a French dip, or like a prime rib, or you have like a beef stock based dip for the burger. It's very very rich though. I'm like I'm like full as fuck. Another health tip. Like right now, I'm kind of full. So I should stop eating because one of the worst things you can do for your gut health is overeat. But I'm fucking. 
I'll just invite my girlfriend over later and do some extra cardio. Game plan. <laughs> back to life. He just got into the apartment. The other came in the gym. They all like the, like the girl that they grew up with. And up with. So we got our decimated burger. Got the bar here. Kitchen's back there. I think that's the raw bar, the oyster guys. This is the front of the restaurant. But it's a really beautiful day. Really beautiful day, a lot of people around. These people make so much fucking money. I can't wait till I have a restaurant here. Bro, I'll have fucking Russian strippers. Like, <laughs> Bro, how could you make that much fucking money and not have like the hottest Russian hookers as your weights do? I don't get it. Bro, I swear to God. Whatever. I'm, my brain is fried. Let me, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna check where I want you to be. I think 100% sure I'm gonna do this. So I can so the, the burger's kind of fatty. All day. I noticed a little bit of katai katai like. <laughs> what counters the fat is like starch. So, my po potato chips, fries, baked potato. Starch very good at soaking the fat. Bre bread is normally pretty good too, if it's not like a croissant or something super fatty. Depends on how much butter they put in. Beer is excellent too. Beer is good. Alcohol is good. It's good for my soul. I accept my soul accepts it. You want a high volume carbohydrate based thing to counter the high fat intake. Basically. Basically. I'm so full. But this burger is fucking amazing. You guys are in New York City. And you haven't been to the Fulton? Down the long run, it is. Try this burger and tell me you haven't had a better burger. I bet my giant dick on it. I would have you. I'll be like, hey, we're going to hang out. talk. If you're going to the girls that you're going to be yourself. Okay. Yo, the chef of this restaurant must have the hottest wife ever. Like, double D tits. I go my Hair down to our ass. You know, I, I can't say that. Very tight, you know what. <laughs> I mean, no one truly has their shit together, but and everyone in New York, John George is at the top of the list. Heard about it. I don't gotta hear nothing. See all over your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a star. Bro, the nice thing about having a fucked up liver is after drinking two years, you're already two years. After drinking two beers, you're already blasted on the moon. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Alright guys. We had the burger and the Jew. I'm had a some of the fries, not gonna have all of them. Obviously no ketchup, we don't want the carotene, the flavonoids, the vitamin A, we don't need it. But I will have my third beer. This, this lager is very good. They have cold chilled glasses. The lager isn't like too bitter or too hoppy. It's pretty full body. So, it's very, very good. Probably the best lager I've actually had so far. One of the beers I've enjoyed the most. Bro, I gotta go to Germany. Before I'm like 40 years old, I gotta go to Germany. This fucking bartender is shaking the drink, it's so loud. I'm gonna go to Germany and have two tall German girls, like two of them, two of them. They're gonna force feed me beer until the B vitamins stimulate me to the point where I have to take them home with me. You know? <laughs> Maybe it's like a flight or fight thing. Uh, flight or fight, yeah. So, like, when your body has too much alcohol, 
thinks it's dying, so you know it tells you to get with as many girls as possible. Fucking reason. Yo, I saw this guy at the park earlier. I don't know if he was Italian, but like older guy with his hair slicked back, has some tattoos. Probably in his 50s or 60s, laying in the park. I was like, damn, I hope that's not me in 30 years. <laughs> I'm a little better. I was a little better looking, so I'm not too worried about it. Are you ready for a check or something else? Yeah, I'll see the dessert menu. Is this the only bar in the restaurant? Yes. Oh, so do they pay you? I'm sorry? Do they pay you for doing the work of three people? I mean, no, I'm joking. You're running around. <laughs> I mean, I cut a little bit. What do you mean to work with three people? No, I, I used to bartend. Okay. No, you guys. You're working hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, no laugh. We this is as busy. We have an upstairs terrace bar, so we'll do like four hundred terrace bar to there. Oh, they have a bar upstairs. We have a whole second floor. Oh, oh. What we're seeing upstairs. I see. But this is busy, so they have we don't run out of drinks. Oh, okay, okay. My boy, we're good. Mm. So most of the time the dessert menus just have way too much dairy and eggs, but I'll always take a look. So mil milf you is not that bad. It's mostly sugar and, and like white flour. There's not too much fat in it. This actually looks perfect. Coconut pearl, coconut yogurt. Panna cotta, coconut cake, lemon passion fruit curd, and champagne sorbet. So the amount of dairy and eggs in this is definitely minimal. We're definitely gonna have that. There's no way anything's better than that. Chocolate boat. Yeah, a lot of dairy, a lot of chocolate. Not good. I'll be awake for four days. Ice cream can't do. Ice cream is dairy and eggs. Fault and cookie. Might not be that bad. Ice cream and sorbet. I mean, you know, sometimes they'll have lemon sorbet or sorbet I like, and I'll have that, but um, the sorbet is almost always made with fluoridated water, so we'll have the coconut pearl. I always love Sauternes. It's my favorite dessert wine. I don't even know what this is. Penaldi Charentes. Maybe it's another white dessert wine. I'll ask her what it is. Calvin, you know what? Calvados is a uh, brandy made from apples. I haven't had that in ages. Maybe I'll have one of those instead of the Sauternes. So turn is really sweet wine. It's high in sugar, so not that great for candida or gut health. Our maniac is uh, it's a type of cognac, but it's not from the cognac region. So one hundred five dollars schnapps. Is this gonna make my dick twelve inches long? What's the deal? No, well, we're just talking with Calvados. Yeah, but honestly, even though I'm not nine feet tall, with my sense of humor, I'm surprised I'm not just fucking, I'm surprised there's not like an entourage of 15 Russian girls with me everywhere I go. Having a beer is arguably less worse than having Cheetos. I have one to travel, which I'm supposed to be using right now. What can I get for Yeah, I'll have the coconut, the coconut pearl, I'll do the, um, I'll do the eight year combo. Yeah. She, she does not like me. Well, a bartender that doesn't drink and gets mad that I called her out on eating Cheetos. <laughs> For who hired her, honestly? Who hired her? Yeah, this is um, basically apple vodka. A little rock. Uh, or like apple tequila, you could call it too. A little expensive apple tequila. Yeah. Oh. I can't drink this shit, bro. It should be on ice. Have a little bit. Lesson learned. You know, the good thing about drinking like a liquor straight. It'll kill basically all the bacteria in your mouth and your nasal cavity. So you're kind of clearing things out a little bit. I'm sorry. Can, can you pour this on ice? On the rocks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a little girl. Cheers. Thank you. 
Yeah, I should have got the uh, sauterne because it has so much sugar in it. It's actually that good. Honestly, bro, I mean, I don't technically have anosmia, which is like lack of sense of smell, but to me, all, all like liquor, like tequila, vodka, scotch, Alvados, it's almost like all the same. Like, straight alcohol. I mean, this is kind of crazy. So the dessert's called the Coconut Pearl. This is a coconut champagne sorbet. I don't remember what this is, but it looks really good. It looks uh, master chef worthy, right? Bro, I look like I'm fucking dying. This is ridiculous. So it's like a full sorbet. It's coconut. Now, I don't actually like coconut, but it's like the only thing I can eat on my diet, so do I really have a choice? I don't even know what that is. It's really good, lightly lemon, like cake, flan thing. It's just cracked open. Looks like an egg yolk. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, um, it's like soup. That's really lemon. That's delicious. It's like a lemon custard that they formed into a, um, a ball. I'll try everything together. Yeah, this reminds me of, um, of that dessert we had at the uh, at the at the first restaurant vlog, Boucherie, lemon coconut, very delicious. This is uh, a bit better though. It's very good, but probably take me about fucking twenty minutes to eat this. It's only been windy the past two minutes. Literally the last two minutes. <laughs> the dessert was phenomenal. I'm trying to make a mess of my outfit. Great meal. Do you know if the pastry chef is a male or a female? I'm just, I mean, you can give them my number, right? No, I'm joking. It's very good. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. I was a bartender, fucking zero sense of humor. Zero. Zero sense of humor. Zero out of ten. All right, apparently the restroom is on the second floor, so we gotta go upstairs to pee. I mean, overall, food was good. First, first course, I mean, fried fish with potatoes, not that great, but uh, burgers, phenomenal. Burgers, very good. Dessert was amazing. Phenomenal dessert. I'm probably gonna come back here again just to have that dessert because. The amount of stuff that like I can eat that doesn't have a lot of dairy and eggs is minimal. Um, however, I might not want to come back because the bartender has no fucking sense of humor, dude. No sense of fucking humor. No sense of humor whatsoever. Unbelievable. I just wanted to make a joke that I was going to give the pastry chef my number and fucking miss Mrs. fucking Buzzkill, dude. Mrs. fucking Buzzkill. I probably also tried to make like three other jokes. No, who the fuck hired this girl? Bro? No, can't small talk, can't take a joke, no fucking normal social skills. Maybe it's just fucking New York now with the, um, with how things are. We're about to wrap things up, but I want to speak to this GM before I leave the general manager to see if, uh, they have my fucking class. <laughs> Alright, this fucking general manager is running around like a chicken with his head cut off and they're really busy, so, uh, I'm not going to bust his balls, so... We'll come down like another day to, uh, to see if they have my plaque, but you guys aren't going to find out in this vlog, so maybe in the next restaurant vlog we do, I'll mention what happened if I come back here again.
But uh, we'll, we'll try to do like one or two more vlogs before we leave the city. Because we gotta move soon, but that's gonna be it. So thank you guys for joining me. If you want to uh, support Frank's Day Drinking Restaurant Fund, go to uh, frankdefstefan.com. You guys can check out all of my businesses. And uh, as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I will see you guys soon.